שלום, שלום, שבת שלום. Um, this message is about um, what's kind of been going on. What Abba told me years ago was going to be happening in this house that we live in. We, when we bought this house, we, we bought it for ministry. And we, that was why it's a 3,800 square foot home. Um, we bought it because we loved it. We thought it would be a great place for ministry. Abba bought this house in cash, actually, by another house that he bought. So it was all given by him. So we gave it back to him when we were building it, and this whole house on the studs is written, verses are written on them, the foundation is written. I'm pretty sure, I'm trying to remember if we did make it or not, but I think we put a foundation, we put the Bible on the foundation of it. If we didn't make it that day, I, I know we, we wrote on the, we wrote on the, on the ground. Um, but he told me some years ago that he was going to bring his leaders through this house so uh, for judgment. I didn't understand what that meant. I didn't understand any of this stuff. But he's like, prepare. So I, I put bunk beds in most of the rooms um, and prepared. And since then, people have been coming and staying for a, long, for a long time so that I can judge, in a sense, or he can judge through me. But I can see who belongs closest you know what I mean? Who belongs closest, who I can be with. And that, that's the big test when it comes down to it. See, Abba is building his kingdom on this earth. And every king and priest gets to choose who is in their own proximity. They get to choose who is, who can, who's in their kingdom. And it, it literally is. It's a pyramid I've seen coming down. It's the, it's a pyramid in the spiritual sense. And I've actually seen how that's coming about now too. Um, but I've been judging and all these people are people that I love very much. All these people that come here, I invite them here because I know God's with them and God's in them. Um, but they're all different um, spirits or different colors in the kingdom, if that makes sense. There are seven spirits, seven uh, candlesticks coming from the throne. Some are hotter than the others. And he's always telling me to tell people that be careful when you're judging, if you're judging the church above you, because it will seem evil to you. The church above you and below you will always seem evil. That's how you know where you belong. That's where you should follow your shalom. So some people come here and they can't, they can't fathom. I literally lost one couple because, I said, because of the word aura, which literally means, menorah literally means, um, light from God. Aura is light of God. And men means from. So that's what the menorah is. Anyway, I got in trouble for, and this is just because he's been teaching me these things and he's been teaching me secret things. And because they're secret things and people don't know them and it doesn't fit into their, their religious um, upbringing and what they think is true and righteous because of what they've been taught by man then it all becomes, um, it becomes, but they judge and they get judged. That's how it works. Um, everything is a matter of, can you withstand and be close to um, his people? I'm a fire. I'm a, I'm a fire that uh, I am. He's told me years ago, I am Zion. He says, you are Zion, go find Zion. And it's interesting because the one sister that just, I just heard her write something about me or say something about me, um, where I saw her was the day, I believe it was the day he told me to go find Sion. And the same day I met her and another sister, the other sister took me. She goes, let me show, show you Sion. I'm like, oh, thank you, because Abba's been telling me I'm Sion and I need to go find it. And she took me to the space. And that's where the lamb needs to be. That's where... Uh, that's what was going to come about and it was what's going to happen. So there's been many people that I've had about 40 day stays here or, or, or tests and, and it's so that we can see. But they, everybody has to be able to follow him or where he guides us to go. So this house takes us into deep secrets. I mean, he's showing us things that are like, Deep, deep, deep. I mean, it, it, all of creation, he's showing us physics. He's showing us everything of how he works and how he built everything. 
It's just, it's him. It's information. And that information is fire to others that don't understand. Because all they can go by is what they've been taught and the book that they've been taught to, to know. And they're like, this is it. If it's not in here, then it isn't true. Well, that's not exactly true, is it? Because the people that gave you that book said it was the only truth. Um, literally, we're keeping the other things and lying to you. And they literally led us into um, lawlessness too. And so that's not, I'm, I'm going to listen to what my Abba says and where he guides me. And so not many people can come where we're going. That's okay. Very few um, make it. But it literally is a, a judgment of the bride. It literally is a test. That's why he gave me that stick. That's why he, he made me stare at the sun and get the, get the white horse that was going to be bringing um, judgments to the world. That's what this was always about. And, and now they're calling these judgments evil. And that, that, the judgments are coming because God's angry because of what I did, not because of what the world has done. And then I'm, I'm doing this to bring judgments to the world. No, it's, because it's being, you're, we're all being judged now because of what you've done. Me. I.e. the slaughtering of the lamb, which was to bring judgments to the world, which is what the witnesses do. And why is it that... <sighs> anyway, I do his will and that people hate me. Why? They think, who do you think you are? Um, anyway, all these people I love. I really do. It's because he loves them and I love them too. But the truth is, can they be near me? That's another thing that we shall see. Because not everybody can withstand the fire that he calls me to be. I expose things in people's garments that they don't see. So this one particular person is like, no, she wasn't a worthy bride. She's not a worthy bride for you. She's not a worthy bride for you. I'm like, what does that mean? It's like, he, she is not to be next to you right now. So that's what it was. It was like, I kept getting not a worthy bride, not a worthy bride. She talks about her husband too much. Well, now she's doing that about me. It was prophesied that she would be married to Eliyahu. <laughs> By another Eliyahu. Um, anyway, we shall see. Abba is bringing his kingdom down, and he's making um, he's making a sound, and that sound is a roar of a lion's roar, and people think, oh, it's the lion is so nice and sweet, and he purrs, and it's all nice, but when he roars, they get angry, and they're like, who do you think you are? Well. I find things, I'll say it to people, if they don't receive it, then I, if I love you, I'll say it stronger. I'll even come after you with a stick if I love you enough. <laughs> Only did that once. But what I'm trying to say is, love compels us to act. I've given myself to him. And the more of him he's changed me into, the more I get judgments from people that are religious. And that's what he's here destroying as a religious spirit. The, the spirits of, uh, and Jezebel, and all these things. He, 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 he's, anyway, all I know is I come from below. And what I'm saying is I come from what the world thinks is not um, you know, a scholar or somebody worthy to teach or anything like that. But I come from that place of laying my life down and trusting him. And he's blessed me and blessed my whole family. And he continues to guide us in ways that, oh my goodness. I, all I can say is he's with us and we live in this state of glory. Those who have been in my house understand. They know, they feel it. I get people all the time, they're like, we just don't understand. There's something, there's something very strange about your house, very very peculiar or something. It's like we go, we, we, we leave very blessed. And I've heard this so many times, I can't tell you. And now this woman, because I yelled at her and said she was not an appropriate wife, now she's going back and saying that I follow a different spirit. Well, I do, you're right a higher spirit than you. 
That's what I'm here to judge. That's why I go and I speak truth that I know. And what it does is it splits the, the, the kingdoms. Most people think, oh, this, this is crazy. This isn't anything I know. So they, they, they block it out as evil. But those that are higher in the highest realms, too, they will understand what I'm saying is true. They'll feel it. They'll know. So be careful how you judge because those judgments will come back on you. And me, too. Huh. That's what's happening now. All these places, all these things that I used to judge before. I mean, I'm hearing people talking about cannabis now and, and Torah people teaching that it's evil, even for people that are sick. Oh. And now I know, I'm, I'm like, Abba, what are you going to do? He says, God forbid they ever get sick too and they need an aspirin because that'll be a curse upon them. You see, they're trying to say you don't need anything. Just pray. And Abba, that is true. But at the same time, he uses the physical things that he created to bless us and to help us get through. So I'm not ashamed to say that the, his medicine took me off. It's saving probably 20 grand a month in, in Medicare. Now that I don't have my wife's insurance anymore, that's who would have to pay it. It would be you. And I don't, I don't abuse. I don't, I would stop the medication. The one was 12, 13 grand a month. And I would stop it all the time because I'm like, oh, this is just, I, I, it's, it's outrageous. I hate the money going to these evil people. And I hate it coming out of my wife's company. And I hate, and I, I'm like, it doesn't even help that much. And so I barely used it. And then the cannabis came and that actually helped me sleep. That other medicine was 13 grand a month, only gave me three hours of sleep a night. And I would have to get up in the middle of the night, an hour and a half in and take it again. So it wasn't really working. But with the cannabis, I would get good four hours each time when I'd take the next dose. I'd wake up, take the oil, and go back to sleep and get another four hours. Hmm, get that. But that's illegal. And I had the neurologist tell me, and, and the endocrinologist, and they all basically say, there's no evidence. Well, I'm walking evidence, honey. I'm walking evidence. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, this is judgment time. And judgments is going to be as a thousand years. And this is about the correction of all things. All religions too. This is the correction of the whole world, the whole earth. And he's raising up his people to correct the religions and correct all things. And say, if you're going to judge, you better be judging by the Torah. You better not judge outside of it. Because if you do, you'll be judged too. Especially if you judge a judge. Woo -hoo. Anyway, shalom, shalom. I love you, but at the same time, if you can't withstand the fire, then go, because you can't be near it. It'll burn you. That's why I said you can't be here, because we are, we are going into places that you don't know, my dear. We're going into places that he is protecting us, and he's bringing us into the wings of his Protection in his Taurus field, the Oxus field, protects us and protects our gates so we can enter in and not be burned. See, these are all higher levels, and the higher levels, you have to go through angels to get to them. And those angels are on earth today. Yes, they will show you the way, but if you call it evil, the door will close to you. Isn't that the way it's supposed to be? For you can't go where you're afraid to go. So don't go. But it doesn't mean I don't have a right to do what I do. You know, even Paul. Paul studied under Gamaliel, was the, one of the only ones allowed to, to research the other religions and research the Greek philosophy and all that stuff. So that's how he knew. He's like, hey, Greeks. You know this mysterious unknown God that you're calling about, you're talking about? Well, here you go. This is him. He's the only one you need to know. But it was all because of that that he saw the truth. So if you want to judge me for the word Kabbalah or just words that you don't understand and say you can't go there, well, don't. It's not for you. 
But if you're judging it as evil, then woe is you. And that's why when you're here, you felt peace and glory. And when you go, it went away. Because he was trying to teach you how to be a good wife in a new way. To offer all you have and offer your gift for him. I can't sit here and watch my wife work day and night and other people come and, and, and not put in as well, put in enough. We all have duties to do in the kingdom. We all must work to keep the temple house. And when I saw that you weren't a worthy spouse, spiritually, then you had to go because you can't go where we're going. You have to do this by trust. You can only go where your, where your shalom goes. It's not a bad thing. It's just who he created you to be. It's who he created me to be. But please don't judge good for evil and evil for good. And you're judging from places that you sh never should. Places where man taught you to judge of what is good and holy and what is not. So, anyway, I was always trying to see, but all these judgments now, I'm kind of done with them. I just want to go and enter in, and that's what I'm doing now. I'm entering into Abba's kingdom, and I'm going to leave all behind. I'll leave you breadcrumbs and a rope so you can see where I'm going, but I'm kind of done offering myself and being hurt because I'm tired of being hurt by people that I love because of their lack of understanding. I get it all the time. And then I have to watch them. Like the couple with the aura, they said I shouldn't have any knee pain. I should be healed in Jesus' name. I'm like, but I have others down though, so it affects every cell in the body. He created me this way. He made me. He knit me in my mother's womb like this. Why do you say that? Oh, because Jesus died for you to be healed, so you should be. And if you're not, then you don't have the spirit in you. <gasps> really? Oh my gosh, what does that mean for Yaakov that had a hip pain in Paul? And why did he say he made the blind man blind to show the glory of Yah? I know why. Because he made him to be better that way. See, the man was able to see better than the people that could see. But you won't know that. Because everybody was led astray and they only want pleasures of the world. They only want good things. Waba's well, taking those things away now. He's even taking your taste and smell away. So you can't even enjoy the foods that you eat. Why? Because you live for pleasures of this world rather than trusting you only in him. This isn't anybody particular. This is just what's coming through. So right now, may his kingdom come and may his will be done. But I know what I have done has been following him and he blesses me more and more every day. And I get to be in his presence. Hallelujah. So now I'm entering into a fast, a 40-day fast. I don't know what it's going to fully look like. But for right now, it's going to be no food. So um, just for seven days. I don't know what the, the fullness is. When he told me last time, 40 days, I went without food for 11 days. The last three days, I went without water. And um, I need a, I'm dehydrated anyway on a normal day. I usually need a, I used to need a IV, a nurse come to my house every week to give me an IV. And I haven't had that in, in a long time. Um, I learned how to do them myself and I learned if I drink electrolytes all the time and, but I still get dehydrated I still just pee it all away. Why am I saying this? I don't know. All I'm saying is it's his will, whatever happens. So may Yah 
bring righteous judgments to all of us. I include myself all the time in these things because I want to be a perfect bride for him. I love him too much. I love him too much. And the sad thing is, all these people that talk badly about me, I love them. They're Yah's children, and they're part of the kingdom. But only those that can withstand me can be close and be in the center. See, like it was prophesied by many people, I'm the, I'm the plumb line. The staff that it talks about, all that stuff that was talking about, the, the measuring stick and all that, that was me. That was why I have this stick that has a law on it, even though it's twisted. The sixth and the seventh were twisted. But it was about judging with people's twisted laws so that you become judges. I can now judge you. If you judge me, I have a right to judge you. And I have a right to actually take your crown as well and plunder you if that's the case. This is what's coming now. Why do you think he actually, he told me I was a stumbling block. I was a stumbling stone. I'm like, no, Abba, I don't want that to be me. He's like, I'm sorry, son. But this must be this way because I must test the hearts of my people before they enter in this new wineskin, in this new way. So yes, they're all still part of the family, but not all belong directly with, it, with me. In the Holy of Holies, as he tells me to enter in, and the other places I get to um, be the measuring stick. I was told by a prophet in Israel, was there to judge Israel, the leaders of Israel, and I knew that to be true. Another one said I was the I was the stake to mark the, the building of the, um, of the temple. I know that to be true, too. Another one. I mean, everywhere I go, it's, it's another one, another one, another one. I'm like, Father, I'll trust in you. Even when they all say, boo-hoo, you're a liar. And what you say is evil and not true. And I say, Father, they're calling you a liar. The one that talks to me, for you tell me this is true and they tell me it's not. They tell me you're a demon. So will you judge them too? If I'm not saying the truth, if I'm not, then judge me. But if it's them, then bring judgments on them because that is the holy thing to do. And that's the good thing to do because now it's judgment time. And may we all be ready for his final coming. But right now he's coming through his people. He's coming through those that he ignites inside to be one with. Anyway, shalom, shalom. May his kingdom come and his will be done. May it come soon. And I'm sorry to this particular person that I saw a note today. She's not happy anyway. And I'm sad because when she was here, she was full of glory. And so was her husband. But now, no more. And I stood up for them. See, they hated. I mean, the, the husband hated Peter. And I patched things up. And now I regret that I did it. Because now I see with different eyes than I used to. But it's all okay. It's all for the kingdom come. That's why he's introducing all of us all around so that we know each other. And it wasn't meant to be the house full of his people that way. It was meant to be me to test them and where they belong. But at the end, we are going to be in Sion. Spiritually, we're creating this thing through the internet and the spiritual clouds. We are going to be uniting together. Sion is going to gather in the internet clouds first, and then we are. So it doesn't matter. We are already there. We are already Sion. Whether that we're there or not, it doesn't matter. All I know is his kingdom will flow through the oil trees. I'm the white light. I'm the white tree. And stone, Na'ar, is the dark one. If you see, all the colors in light will make white, but all the colors in the material realm 
you know, that we'll make black. One complements the other. If we didn't have one, we wouldn't know the other. So that's why. And it's unfortunate because everybody that sees, they can't understand that stone, a, a mere child, a, a, a very um, new in the faith, very new in the faith, but full of knowledge of him because he shares it with him. And um, we got to be careful what we judge and how we judge them. I see a young man being judged all the time because of his age and because of, uh, you know, this particular person didn't like that I was listening to him more than I did her. But I knew what was coming through was from the Father. And so, anyway, I'm going to let it go. I love you all. Um, and may his correction comes. May his building be built without hands. May the Father bring his stones together, each a missing stone to the kingdom. So everybody, find your master. Find, you're no higher than your master. Find where you belong in this kingdom. Many are, um, but just know that all kingdoms will bow to the king one day. Everything is owed to the king. That's why I'm not worried about Buddhists and Hindus and Muslims and all those things. That the, the king will make himself known in all the earth. They're all going to have to bow down to the king sooner or later. What they'll realize is they're all portions of the body. Um, and when, they're, when their menorah is lit, it's lit by the Father, they will become the portion that they're supposed to be. But it looks different for everybody because we all have different parts of the body. You know, how many people touch the elephant without eyes to see? They all describe a different thing, the big owl that is to be. He is from all creation, and he always will be. But we only know the portion that we touch. Okay? I touch, I'm part of the heart. But that heart, that love is willing to be any part of the body it has to be. See, that is the, that's how the embryo grows in the womb of the mother, you see. It starts from the one and it makes two. And the two make the three and the third is its power. But the four is its form. And it grows from there. But it grows from the heart cells out. So a heart cell, whatever cells that are growing from those cells, they're willing to go to be any part of the body that they have to be. So I like to say, I'm willing to be the asshole if I have to be. Who else is going to do it? Who else is going to play the fool and let the crap out? <laughs> That's the heart. The heart of the Mashiach is do what needs to be done when it needs to be done. And that's it. I'm sure he would have liked to have stayed at peace and done all things in a peaceful manner. But when he saw the temple being um, perverted, in a sense, it made him angry. And for the father, he fought. Anyway, shalom, shalom. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> I uh, am going to go. But here's just another message um, for all people to know. His kingdom is coming. His will will be made known. And I'm being ridiculed by, by names, by not disassociation with names. And it's not right. Because Kabbalah isn't an evil name. And what I do in him isn't evil too. And the word aura and the chakras and all those things are just words to make us understand. But what the enemy has done with all these things. They, they perverted. They made good words bad and bad words good. Why are we saying every day a good morning? Why is it morning? What does morning mean? Why do we say hello instead of hi? Hi is life, isn't it? We were taught hi is not good to say. Hello is more appropriate. That's what the Rockefellers taught us to say. They changed the frequencies of everything. They changed the words too. And they made a spelling to, to create spells for people that aren't holy. We've been spelling on each other. They changed the frequency. They changed it to 440 so that it would vibrate unnaturally and cause 
disorder and destruction. Guess whose will all those things were? Guess who made all that happen? You think it's just Satan? Who do you think Satan works for? <laughs> you think Yah isn't bigger than Satan? He can't control? Oh, well, Satan's trying to steal everything. You know what? Satan's my bitch now. And he knows exactly where he belongs. Like a female dog under my feet. That's where the serpent goes. See, I crush him. You want to know why? Because I have the spirit of the Mashiach in me. By the seed of a woman, I shall crush the head of the serpent. Because Yeshua came and lived and became a spirit and sent the comforter into me. Now he lives in me and it pushes out. Guess who the serpent is? It's the Kundalini. Yes, of course it is. It has to be there. That's the only thing we have to offer him is our power, our might, our, our um, ego. So I say that word and that freaks them out too. Oh, that's Eastern, whatever. I'm like, yes, it is. So, <laughs> is he not the God of over there too? By the way, why did he say, why did he not allow people to go that way? Why did he not allow, allow people to go to the East? Because they had a special job to do. It's all okay. Just trust in him and trust that he will show you the way. Trust in him. But we can't go against the Torah, for that is the marriage contract. If you want to marry him, then you follow it. And do the Noahide laws first. That it gets you um, to where you can be. Like, like Paul said, the, those laws so that you can go to the synagogue, basically. But if you truly love him, you'll keep his commandments. And you'll keep what is true. Shalom, shalom. I love you. Um, please, I hope you have eyes to see what I'm saying is true because I know it is. And it's out of love that, that makes me do these things. Nothing else. It's all love of him. So shalom, shalom. May he be with you. May he live in you. May he fill you with his presence and his love too. May you know at every part of your being that he's flowing through you electrically and you can feel him. L, electricity. May you feel him and may he flow through you. Shalom, shalom. Bye.